Hey everyone, it's Spicy Sushi. So in this video, I'm gonna go over uh, the process that I used on stream to make my um, Aura Stacker helmet. This was not like the best in slot mirror tier helmet or anything, uh, but it is the second best, uh, only being beat by a synthesis helmet in the very, very high min-max scenario, which I eventually moved into, but there wasn't really a crafting process for that. I just bought my friend's copy for one mirror. So, but this was the helmet I used for the majority of my aura stacker that we'll be getting into, which, uh, the benefit is that as you see here is the 22% RMR, which basically for an aura stacker, if you don't know, allows you to push out more introspection, notable jewels. Uh, cluster jewels in your passive tree which is extremely strong and that's why it's only eventually beaten by a synthesis helmet because that 15 percent war effect is more worth it than stacking up on introspections um, if you don't need the rmr so anyway let's go ahead and jump into this video i hope you guys enjoy feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content our first craft of today we are going to start on phoenix dome well, a baby version of Phoenix Tome. It's not going to be T1 flat, T1 increased. It's going to be recombinated, plus two socketed ore from Delirium Essence, uh, Loathing Essence mana efficiency from, yeah, like the Loathing Essence, and then T1 spell suppression recombinated onto a Huber Circlet. So we have to recombinate that. And then we're going to do probably T1 flat or T1 increased with plus two socketed AoE and then bench craft the last thing. So I'm not going to go for mirror tier right now. But yeah. So, I already set up one, which is Loathing Essence, and then I got Socketed Ore from the Daily Essence, so we gotta try to recombinate this now. Oh, and I guess I should show the calc. So basically, the calculation is for AoE, it is normally a 33% chance, but if we benchcraft a second suffix on there, like the same matching one, it's a 44% chance of moving together. And then once we do that, what we want to have after that is loathing and AoE, and then we're going to create suppression uh, loathing. So after that, it is a 35% chance of finishing our suffixes. But yeah, we're going to be zooming through the demos because Flames gets pissed at me when my, when the VODs are too long. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Although this might take a long time. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, socketed origin and mana res first try. Okay, 44% chance. And then I actually already prepared this one, although it might brick. So we have our sub T1 suppression and, and loathing. And then our socketed aura loathing. All right, so this is a 35% chance we finish our suffix base. All right, can we just get it first try so I don't have to go through this pain and misery? Um. Oh my god, dude, it mutated to cold res. I'm so mad. The the socketed A uh, aura mutated to cold res, dude. Fuck. Okay, please don't annul the spell suppression. Please don't annul the spell suppression. Please. <sighs> Alright, this is annoying. Okay, well, we are literally gonna have to start from the very beginning. Like, legit. Dude, it took me like an hour to set up that three of those recombinations now we're like back from square one okay dude all right uh i need more nulls okay that's number one uh... okay we go again okay we're gonna craft fire res on both which it doesn't really matter they just need to be the same suffix just going to be 44% chance we get the double and we got it. Okay, our first base is done. Our first base is done. So now we have socketed aura suffix and loathing essence suffix, but we have to make our spell suppression base now, which is fucking annoying. Okay. Now it's time for spell suppression, though. Let me make a couple of more Loathing Essence bases. So we're, we're I'm, I'm making probably three because it's kind of hard to set up the, uh, I'm trying to get just one suffix, dude. Okay. All right. We have three Loathing Essence bases set up. 
Now let's go get our spell suppression bases. All right, there's spell suppression. So what it has to do here, this is the annoying part. This is why this one's kind of an annoying step, is it needs to choose the hubris circlet, but it needs to move over the suppression. So it's a one in, it's a 50-50 and two a, and to a uh, basically a 50-50. It's like a 44% chance. So it's like a one in four almost. Um, but luckily, we could if we save the spell suppression, it's fine. Like it's actually not that bad because if 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 we delete the loathing essence but at least we get the spell suppression on the hubris we can go again so we got the hubris and we bricked literally the entire thing nice that's great we go again this is 44 per it's a it's a 50 50 into a 44 percent chance yo Shatans, thanks for the four months. So it's a 50-50, it chooses the Huber circlet, and then it's a 44% chance it moves the suppression over. We lost the 50-50, and we lost everything! Actually everything, dude. Holy shit. What is going on? Alright, T1 spell suppression. We need to get rid of that lightning res, though. Okay, okay we go again. We go again. Fire res, fire res. 50-50 into a 44% chance. It chose the lion pelt, but... Okay, well, that's kind of troll. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Uh, we need to move it. <laughs> we need to move that. I mean, we could just YOLO it, dude. We could just YOLO it. It'd be a 50-50 into a 35% uh, chance, though. We just YOLO it? All right. We YOLO it, dude. Uh, if it doesn't choose the hubris, it's a rip. It chose the lion pelt. Oh my, dude, I hit my fucking suffixes on a lion pelt. I'm so mad, dude. It. I hate you guys. Two hours later. Okay, so it's going to be a 50% chance this time instead of 44 or instead of 35, but it has to do a 50-50 first, so it's, it's gotta be, it's gonna be a 25% chance. Since, uh, we're, we're gonna get Loathing Essence and Delirium Essence on a Hubris, and we're gonna slam our Lion Pelt with our Hubris for a 50% chance after the coin toss. So it's gonna be a one in, one half into a one half, so it's gonna be 40, uh, 25% chance. Alright, here we go. Please. Ugh. Okay, we got it. All right, here we could finish the helmet. One in one in four chance here. Okay, we have our lion pelt brick because chat baited me. All right, because don't get it twisted, chat baited me. Uh, but there could be a mutation, obviously. So, I mean, the calculator obviously I don't think it accounts for anything like mutations. So, fifty percent chance into a fifty-fifty. Hubris? Okay, we got the hubris. It's done. Nice. Suffix base done. Yeah! Sorry. I got excited. Alright, let's go. Let's try... T6. Remove. Wait, okay. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have an enchant, so it doesn't matter, but I'll add that in. I got triggered, dude. I got triggered. Uh, I might honestly aug defense, actually, before the fracture. Okay, there we go. Alright, surely, dude. Miracle Run 2.0. Can we just hit a Miracle Run 2.0 here? That'd be great. Just hit the Ashling first try, unveil first try, helmet done. Real quick, Miracle Run. Wait, dude, a bunch of Ashlings just got posted as I was, uh... Oh, my. Well. Okay. Uh... Maybe next time, right? You know, it's a 50-50, so... We're gonna do some... I'm just gonna use my Chaos that I've collected while mapping, honestly. These are, like, horrible normally, but... I have them anyway, so... Uh, 
Oh, nice. Okay. Here we go again. Ashling number two. That was really lucky. <laughs> that was really lucky. Oh my god. Dude, this is going to be a fun night. I can tell you what already. Yo, surely... Third time's the charm, right? Third time, I'll actually unveil AoE as well. Alright, just hit, sir. Yeah, he looked at that for a while. Okay. Uh, Monka. And you just want to stare at that. Alright, told you guys. And now, uh, we unveil AoE because it's math. Okay, 44% chance. Uh, we should unveil AoE now. Um. The math didn't add up, dude. Dude, it's math. Why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? Okay, please give me a 50-50 here. Holy! I swear, if like a bird chirps outside, they freak out. All right, Ashling again. You know, statistically, it wouldn't be surprising if we hit the Ashling for a second time in a row, right? And then we hit the unveil this time. All right, please, sir. Please, sir. Surely it's a 50-50. That's what they all say, dude. It's a 50-50, right? Okay, yes, it's a 50-50. Okay, boys, please tell me we hit these, right? We hit these. We hit these, right? Fourth. I think it's the fourth unveil. Unveil number four. We got it. Wait, we actually got it. Holy shit. Okay. Well, uh, we're done technically, I guess. Do I get greedy here, dude? Okay, so... I feel like since I'm a streamer, I just have to get greedy here. It's a two and three fracture. But then... But I have to augment defense before I go for it, just just in case I hit T1. Yeah, so basically, okay, this is what we do here. We augment defense, which is could potentially be absolute dog shit, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna we're gonna fracture prefix. Yeah, it could fracture the crafted mod. I mean we could just I mean, it doesn't matter if it fractures the crafted mod. I I guess technically the the, it, the helmet's not bricked, right? If it fracture if it fractures the crafted mod. Yeah, we divine it first. So I guess that is an option because we would have to. What would we have to hit? Like, what are the chances we even get better than crafted anyway? Oh my god, dude! Crafted ES is like T is T two. There's no way we get better than... I mean, there's no way we aug T1 here, is there? So, dude, it's a 1 in 20. Fuck that. Do you see this shit? <laughs> do it, Giga Chad. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fracture, and if we miss... It's okay. I'm just going to use it anyway. All right. Honestly, it, the best play is to just fracture uh, with crafted mod on there. Because if I miss, it's fine. It's still completely usable. Bro, can I just... Bro. Dude, come on. There we go. Okay. Let's go fracture prefix time. Surely I don't fracture the crafted mod, right? Right? Now let's just ruin it with a fractured benchcraft. <laughs> Holy Giga Chad, dude. Nice. That's actually the I think that's the best outcome. 22x giving a tip, dude, but 
People got fucking mad at me last time I didn't tip. Alright. Uh... I don't know if I want to go to finish this now, though, dude. It's super expensive to finish it. Cheap at... Shut up, Link. It's pretty expensive to finish this, though. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, that'll probably be it for the crafting videos for this specific build. Um, I ended up just buying uh, a, a base for my chest. I ended up buying uh, someone's uh, pair of gloves for the spark build. So uh, only two crafts that I did actually from start to finish on the build. Uh, so that's going to be it for you know this specific series. So hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.